What's up everybody? Got a quick little video here for you. Well, we'll see how quick this ends up being, but as you can see, the Grom is torn apart. And one might ask, why the hell is it torn apart? You're going to California here at the end of the month. Because I'm a psychopath and I wanted to get some things done um, looks wise. Um, little details, things here and there, and I'll go over those real quick. So nothing too crazy. And if I have to, I can always throw it back together without the stuff done. Um, as you can see right now, the wheels um, are taken off of it. Uh, also the rear set is gone. Um, those are actually in the truck. I'm trying to arrange getting those dropped off and powder coated. We're gonna powder coat the rims the same color as the blue here. The rear set's just gonna be a black that's gonna match this. Hopefully you get a little metal flake in there. I think that'll look pretty good. Um, we got some, some parts that I was gonna hold off until the summer rebuild to put in, um, but I set some of these out here um, just for looks. You know, these are for the sprocket. Um, black wheel spacers, upgraded as well, lighter. Um, let's see here. Oh, um, I got some more stuff on the way, but chain tensioner came in. Uh, those are actually really nice. They came with the spools for it as well. So those are going to go on it. Um, I ordered a can of actually touch up paint for this exact color match. And I'm actually thinking about doing the stock rotors, or not rotors, sorry, uh, calipers, the blue thinking about it. Also, I have a paint that I'm going to, for now, eventually I'm gonna buy all new hardware that actually is um, color matched. Uh, we'll do like black, and I'm actually thinking about go, going with hexes. I've actually got one right here. If you can see, kind of testing it out right there. One is definitely not like the others. So I'm testing that out, see how I like that. But I could replace all of those screws and bolts and stuff like that with stuff like that. That way there's everything on the bike basically is going to need to be blue or black. That's possible. Um, like this bolt here, what I'll do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try painting it at first. It's a temporary solution until I can find something better. And then I'm going to actually bake the paint. Hopefully make it a little more durable. All I need to do is be able to torque it down and it, as long as I don't wrench on it too much, be gentle, um, hopefully it'll hold up and look good. I, I just basically need this thing on some of these things like the bolts and things like that. I just need it to look good for California and then this thing is gonna come apart and I'm gonna take my time and I'll find, I'm gonna find bolts that are I mean, if I have to, maybe powder coating is the option for it. Um, maybe only a portion, you know, just the parts that show. Um, I don't want to make anything thicker. Um, we'll put the brakes on over the summer. We'll do the shock over the summer. But I figure, you know, let's get the wheels done. Let's get the rear set done. Those are the two biggest things look-wise, I think, that we're going to be, that we're remaining basically on the bike. Um, other than that, I have to say it's popping. Oh, yeah, uh, two more things. So the exhaust, actually, I'm putting another coat of heat resistant uh, paint on there. Um, that's another temporary solution. Hopefully that holds up. I followed the instructions this time, so we'll see. Um, we got the new belly pan here. And I normally go, I think the most I've ever had down there was four lights, but I've got five strips here that I recycled from the other belly pan and the belly pan I had before as well. So, and I have a bunch of smaller ones. So we're gonna go crazy. Um, this one's gonna be. I mean, you thought I had a lot of lights before. Just wait. So we'll have at least two long ones facing down. I'm just gonna cut a couple notches for anchor points, uh, so I can epoxy those in. That's been the best thing so far is the epoxy. Every time I use that. It holds up. Um, so we'll do two on the sides, then we'll do two facing up, and 
I don't know what I'll do with the last one. I might maybe run it around like so. The idea is, is I, I want the light to be seen, but not the source, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, the way I have all of my lights set up is the panel covers this, but the light comes out. I have lights behind here, um, underneath, in the fender even. This actually might be a good time to install a couple under this fender because I have some under here as well. Um, that's another thing. There's a carbon fiber replacement for this right here. Thinking about grabbing that. And there's a matching gas tank thing. I could have that here and switch that out easily before California. But I don't know. You start getting into that. Well, if I do this, I should do this and do this and do this. And before you know it, I'm, I'm doing my my summer build and trying to compress it all into right before California and I'm not going to do a good job on everything and take the time that I feel I need to take to make it perfect. So I'm trying to hold back as much as possible. So we'll just get the stuff powder coated. I'll do some basic look stuff to the bolts here, the majority of them anyway. Belly pan. I mean, that's, that's enough. I think we've got about, uh, about exactly one month, I think, before we leave. So a lot of time, but at the same time, not a lot of time. Since uh, obviously since the Grom's down, the monkey is the uh, the main mini right now and can't complain, other than it being a little on the slow side for my taste, but that's gonna change soon. It's the next big project. Um, FZ, I think I mentioned in a uh, previous video it's got new tires dude this thing is it's a beast it's it's really fun so like 40,000 42,000 miles I think on it now run strong never given me a problem Kimco still runs great don't ride it that much because I got a little burnt out with the canals but I think it's time to come back and do a couple of runs it's always a favorite. I have some parts actually on the way for this to make it a little faster. So maybe I'll take it on some Grom, uh, Grom Squad rides. Damn, tripping over my words. The main reason I don't usually take it is it's great on acceleration and off the line, but it just doesn't have that little bit of top speed. I need about 10 miles an hour uh, extra on the top end. And I think with the parts and upgrades I'm gonna do, we'll get it done. The Beast here, it's been a minute since I've taken it out. However, the Salt River is flowing right now. So I'm going to try to take it out Sunday and do a, what is it, a Sycamore Creek run. I'll do a little video on it, but I love it when the water is out there. As you can see, I like getting dirty. I like the mud. So, uh, I mean, I got some other other things in the back. I got another big surprise that I'll go over in more detail, but I don't want to spoil it here. But as I said, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. You guys got your update. Um, enjoy the rest of the videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys uh, supporting me. And um, yeah, without you guys and all the people that ride with me, I wouldn't have a channel and wouldn't have nearly as much fun is I have riding around and recording and getting cool footage and meeting people. So again, thank you. Have a good one.